know what I'm saying? If you, you can't feel me, then you're not feeling me. You Right now, it's time to pick a side, nigga. It's 2000, about to be 2008. It's time to choose a side. You're either positive or you're negative. You're either evil or you're good. You understand what I'm saying? Choose a side, nigga. I know what side I'm on. I'm a positive motherfucker. I deal with nothing but positive energy and good energy and, and good motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not evil. I'm not negative. Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? You might hear some negativity in my songs, but that's because I know how to balance my negativity and my positivity. Because negative is a natural force of the universe. And evil is a natural is a natural force in the universe also. It's like the yin and the yang. You gotta learn how to balance both of them. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to have that balance. You know what I'm saying? But the positive always gotta overcome the negative. You know what I'm saying? But you still gotta have that balance and have that little bit of negativity in you because sometimes it calls for that. It's called self-defense. You understand what I'm saying? If you don't got no negativity in you, then you can't defend yourself properly. You understand what I'm saying? Because, all right, for example, right? Say I'm in the crib with my wife and my kids, we in there chilling, watching TV, just doing, you know, living a positive lifestyle, you know what I mean? Taking care of the family, doing the family thing. That's positive, that's good, you know what I'm saying? And let's say uh, one of these hating ass motherfuckers out here, you know what I mean? Maybe somebody, maybe a disgruntled employee, as Havoc would say. Let's say a disgruntled employee that we fired, or somebody that we cut off, like we cut their lifeline off from off deep. I said they they sitting in they sitting around plotting and they say, hey, you know what? Fuck prodigy. Let's go run up in his house and tie him up and rob his crib, tie his family up. Well hey, I look at it like this, man. Maybe like six years ago, I told my wife, I said, yo, listen baby, we need to buy a shotgun for our house. And we need to register it with the state. You understand what I'm saying? So it's legal. It's not. It's not like this illegal shit niggas be doing, getting caught with mad guns. Like, like for my case, for example, I got caught with an illegal gun. I ain't talk about shit like that. Your constitutional right in America is is you have the right to bear arms. You understand what I'm saying? Anybody that owns a house has a right to own a shotgun or a rifle. That's your constitutional right. I don't care if you have a criminal record. I don't care if you're a rapist, murderer, or it doesn't matter. Your constitutional right as an American citizen is you can own a shotgun or a rifle in your house as long as it's registered with the state and registered with the feds. You understand what I'm saying? So me and my wife, we went and bought a shotgun. You know what I mean? And the guys at the gun store, they said, yo man, look, if you got kids in the house, you need to teach your kids how to shoot the shotgun. You know why? Because if you don't teach them how to shoot the shotgun and their curiosity gets to them, they'll fuck around and get the gun just being curious and end up shooting themselves by mistake or shooting somebody else by mistake just being curious and wanting to see oh what's this gun do you know what I'm saying what what is this gun I want they, they play video games all day with guns and all that shit they play with uh cap guns and water guns so they might bump into the gun in the house and make a mistake and shoot themselves or shoot somebody else or let's just say the gun just goes off and don't shoot nobody the bottom line is the guy at the gun store said hell man hey yo man you buying this gun okay do you have kids in your house? I said, yeah. He said, yo, alright, if you got kids in the house, you need to teach them how to shoot this shotgun. The reason being, so they can learn the power of the gun. You understand what I'm saying? Once they learn that power of what that gun had, and see what that gun can do, and hear it, and feel it, and see it, I guarantee you, they'll never play with that gun. They will never, ever, ever touch that gun or play with it. You, you know why? Because they're no longer curious. Now they know exactly what kind of force that gun has, exactly what kind of power that gun has, and exactly the damage that that gun can do. So, if your kids are smart, like my kids, they won't ever touch the gun or try to play with it or be curious about it after you teach them how to shoot it. So back to what I was saying, the guy at the gun store was like, yo man, you got kids? If you got kids, bring them in here. 
because it was a firing range downstairs in the gun store. He was like, yo, bring them in here and give them some gun lessons. Teach them how to shoot at the target. This way they won't be curious about their gun and they'll never play with it in the house if they ever so happen to bump into it. You know what I'm saying? And that was smart. So I brought, we bought the um, shotgun, you know what I'm saying? And I brought my kids to the, to the gun range and I taught them how to shoot. My daughter was too young, you know what I'm saying? So when she heard the shots, she was scared to shoot it. You know what I'm saying? So right away, my daughter knows not to play with that gun. Cause she's already scared of the sound of it. Alright? From being around the shooting range and seeing the power that, that gun has. You know what I'm saying? So my son, when he turned seven, I said, yo, what you want for your birthday, yo? He said, yo, take me to the gun range and teach me how to shoot the gun. I was like, wow. That's ill, because the dude at the gun range told me to do that anyway. So, for his seventh birthday, I took him to the gun range, and I told him how to shoot the shotty. I taught him how to shoot the shotty, you know what I mean? His first shot was a headshot, off top. Bam! Caught a headshot. Little seven-year-old shooting a shotgun. I had to actually hold his back, and when he shoot the shotgun, he was going back a little bit. So I had to hold him so he wouldn't fall back when he shoot the shotgun. His first shot was a headshot, though. I said, yo, how the fuck you learn how to do that? Nigga said playing Grand Theft Auto. I was like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know what I mean? Back to what I was saying, man. If if a disgruntled employee or something tries to break in my house or on some revenge shit or some disgruntled shit, like you gonna do something to prodigy and his family, homeboy, you're gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Or homegirl, or whoever the fuck you are. If it's a team of you, uh, no matter what, if you come to my house and set foot on my property, you're gonna lose your life. You understand what I'm saying? Son, my little, my son is 11 now. My little 11 year old will fucking kill you if you come into my house unauthorized and unwelcome. My little 11 year old will blow your fucking head off. You understand what I'm saying? My wife will take your fucking head off. You understand what I'm saying? I will take your fucking stomach. I will remove your stomach from your body. You understand what I'm saying? That's what my shotgun will do to you. I will fucking aim that shit at your stomach and remove your organs from your motherfucking body. You understand what I'm saying? Don't ever try to come to my crib. Because you will die straight up and down. And you will legally die. Because my gun is registered with the state. You understand what I'm saying? My wife, she's working right now to get her carry license for a pistol. So she's going to have a full time carry pistol license. You understand what I'm saying? In New York and New Jersey. So, it's something that we should have did a long time ago and I would have never caught this case if we did it, but hey, it's never too late, son. So that's what we're doing right now. So, for anybody out there that got any plans of doing something to Prodigy or coming to Prodigy's house or you think Prodigy's pussy or whatever the case may be, like, I'm telling you straight up and down, you're going to die. Uh, like, I can say that, live on TV, you're gonna die. If you try to break into my house, or set foot on my property, and, um, what do you call it? Um, what do they call that? Uh, not invasion of privacy, uh, um, uh, home invasion, or, it's, it's another, uh, trespassing. That's the word I'm looking for. If you trespass upon my, my shit, you're gonna die, homie. You know what I'm saying? Straight, I'm gonna kill you. Because I'm gonna feel like my life is in danger. You understand what I'm saying? And in the handbook rules of New York State and New Jersey, it says that if somebody sets foot on your property and you feel like your life is in danger and you feel like they're coming and threatening your life in some kind of way, you have the right to shoot the kill. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm just letting you know that. So basically my point is, as far as the positive and negative, good and evil shit, you gotta have a balance of both. Right? Because if somebody breaks into my house, it's not negative for me to protect myself. To defend yourself is something positive. It's a positive thing to defend yourself. That's not being negative. You understand what I'm saying? I'm simply defending my kids and my family. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I say. That's what I mean when I say you got to have a balance of positive and negative. You got to learn how to balance it out. But for positive people, there has to be more positive than negative, straight up and down. Even when you're doing some negative, like when you gotta shoot somebody to protect yourself, you have to do it with a positive state of mind. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're doing it to protect what's positive. You understand what I'm saying? 
Like, it sound crazy, but I know you motherfuckers understand what I'm saying. So I ain't really even got to explain myself any further. You understand what I'm saying? So, basically, that's what I'm all about. I'm all about positivity. I'm all about being a good person. And I don't want no negative, negative shit in my life, man. It's over for that. I did that back when I was young. I did a lot of dumb shit. And now that's over, man. It's over for me. I'm married. I got a family. You know what I mean? I got a solo career. I own my own label now. You know what I'm saying? Plus, we got Mob Deep on G Unit. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm good, man. I'm set for life, man. And anybody that want to hate on me, you just got to deal with the consequences if you try to do some dumb shit.